Barnes. Wood sticking very closely to him, but a shrug of the shoulders, and John Barnes was away. Callahan. And again, it's West on the far post. And Barnes dropped behind him. A penalty. Well, the referee clearly aware of pushing as the ball came over. And John Knowles had no doubt. So Nigel Callahan is entrusted with the kick. And misses it. Well, Callahan taking the job because Luther Blissett missed the penalty earlier this season at Sheffield Wednesday. Such a good striker of a dead ball normally. Speedy being asked to make something of a very lofty clearance, and in fact, Jacket got too close to him. Push David Speedy in the back. We move into any time that referee John Moores wants to add on at the end of the first 45 minutes. Possibly the extra seconds could work to Chelsea's advantage if they can deliver a good free kick here. Hazard trying to set up players on the edge of the area, particularly Bumstead. Chelsea have come to Vicarage Road with plenty of attacking intentions. They've taken the game to Watford. A significant part of the first half, but Blissett on the counter charge here with Barnes. That's a great goal! A shot of real authority. No wonder Nietzsche shakes his head. He had no chance. The goal of international class from England's John Barnes. In injury time, cutting inside onto his right foot and picking his spot. Here's Speedy. Hazard. There again, where Nevin had been drawn in field, and he's back now in the wide position that gives Chelsea a way forward. He's given the ball away to Blissett. Barnes is there for Watford. West away to Watford's right. And Nevin's anxiety to make up for his mistake has led to the conceding of a free kick. Very much an individual, Pat Nevin. Off the pitch, so too John Barnes. Rostron shot. Ralph Rostron, who has a birthday tomorrow, he'll be 29. Looked like an arm from Pates, but Watford have the ball anyway. Barnes taking on Wood and beating him. Blissett. Well, somehow he found a way to turn when there seemed to be none. Pates in the end blocked him. And it's Watford's turn to send the big men forward, particularly Steve Terry. West right in on the goalkeeper. Blissett waiting by the far post for the flick on from Barnes. For Blissett, it's a move Watford have worked so often and it nearly worked for them there. Barnes was impeded as West flicked it on. Terry with the free kick and West chases it in vain. Bumstead was closing him down. Four men forward for Watford. West powering on. It might come his way. And it's bundled in by Blissett. 2 0. A 
a disaster for Chelsea. And West took it up. And it was a most delightful chip that took out the goalkeeper. And Luther Blissett, homing in on the far post, forced it over the line. So Watford have the cushion of a two-goal advantage 13 minutes into the second half. That's it. Splendidly done to hold off Rostron. And Speedy. It's McLaughlin who shoots. And the referee spotted a deflection. It wasn't too apparent from this angle. So it's pressure from Chelsea, but as yet, not penetration. Rugby, yes! <laughs> penetration now. That's brought them back in the game. Solidly met by the big defender on the near post. And it flew in. Barnes collected from Blissett. Talbot, Blissett is free and needed to readjust his balance. West for Barnes. And now Porter. Not enough sting to trouble the goalkeeper, Eddie Nitschveski, who was flinging himself one way, then the other. Speedy. Obstruction by Rostron on Canneville, right on the edge of the area. Lachlan is alongside him at the far post. And it's for Dixon. And Speedy! So close. A splendid free kick. Which they did try once in the first half and it didn't quite come off. It didn't come off there either, but Speedy was so close stretching in onto Dixon's flick. Bliss it. Obstruction by Rugby. Callahan uh, unable to get round him, having got the ball past him. In the Watford scheme of things, John Barnes goes across to take free kicks from this type of position to whip it in with the left foot. Where Watford now have four players looking to meet it. But meeting it for Chelsea was Rugby at the expense of a corner. Barnes, Terry! The set piece works again. And Watford can breathe more easily again. Well, there's never any disguising Watford's intentions. But stopping it is another matter altogether. Callahan's corner, the back header from Barnes. And from close range, a simple task for Steve Terry. 3-1. Has it. And show it. Well, if he's a bit ring rusty, it's understandable. Out of the limelight. But it was a fumble that would have sent his heart into his mouth. Barnes with a little bit of shoving that went undetected. And he got the run of the ball past Wood. Callahan! That's a great save. Callahan from five yards. Managed to sneak in on the blind side. And Nietzsche Veshke was able to keep it out.